Detective Sanchez left Lieutenant Johnson's office. As he began to walk down the long corridor that would lead him to Chuy Ortiz's cell, his mind began to unravel all the evidence he had so far obtained. Every sound, every gesture, every word was completely analyzed. Sanchez was beginning to feel like his old self. But deep down inside, Sanchez still had pain. Sanchez knew his drinking would be an obstacle in proving his client was innocent. It was obvious. He, Sanchez, was the problem. His drinking could be the only hindrance that could destroy the work he had to do. The corridor seemed like it would never come to an end. He felt as if he were walking in slow motion. Sanchez begins to think of a time when he was younger. He began to think of somebody he once loved. Okay, last night you were laughing. I was. That was last night. Don't you see what's happening? The only time you and I are okay is when we're drowning ourselves in a bottle of liquor. Susan, you know that's not true. Come on, Rudy. Face the truth. This happens every day. You might want to live your life like a drunk, but I don't. Come on now. We could talk about this later. Later? Don't you realize it's already too late? Ever since that child was killed, you have been blaming yourself. Shut up! I told you never to bring that up! It's true. And as long as you keep hiding in the bottle of liquor, you'll never amount to anything. Look, Rudy. Those kidnappers were never going to release the Armstrong child unharmed. You did everything you could. It's not my fault. If only I would have listened and gone alone. I misjudged the whole situation. I was wrong. I'm to blame for that kid's death. Here you go blaming yourself again. It wasn't your fault. But you will be responsible for your own death. And I'm not gonna stay and watch you die. Goodbye, Rudy. Wait, Susan, you know what? I could change. I can stop drinking. When you do, give me a call. Sanchez never did call Susan. The last time he heard of her was about five years ago when she married some big time lawyer from Texas. The more he thought of her, the more he craved the drink. He felt like turning around and walking to the nearest bar. But he continued until he heard the guard. <laughs> 